back with another video this time. That's wonky. That feels a bit better. That's it. It's great to have you guys back once again. This time we're covering my five favorite features of the Nikon Z30. Now the Z30 has just been released from Nikon, the little brother to the Z50. Now this camera packs everything in that the Z50 and ZFC does, but in a smaller form factor, and it also has a great feature that now I have it, I don't want to go back to not having it. So let's get into my five favorite features of the Nikon Z30. There was a lot of folk out there not totally enthusiastic about the Z30 when it was launched. They said there was no need for a lower end APS-C camera, but this camera is targeted at people coming just from their phones. But it's more than that for me because this camera now sits as my favorite and one and only studio camera set up just to come in, sit down and record, hit that record button and it's fantastic. But I'm gonna cover my five favorite features. So if you're somebody new coming from a phone and looking for a mirrorless camera, this video is for you. So let's get straight into it. And my biggest and number one feature of this camera has to be the flip out screen. Now, again, if something's ever taken away from you or you've never had it and then you do have it, you understand what you've been missing out on. You really, really do and you appreciate it more. And now we'll have the flip out screen. It makes life so much easier in the studio. It's less to set up. It's just easier to come in, sit down and start recording. It makes a world of a difference. So the articulating flip out touchscreen is huge for me. It really is, it's massive. Didn't realize how much I actually wanted one until I actually have it now. And I'm so happy I do. So that's my number one favorite feature of this camera is the flip out articulate touchscreen. Number two though is something that I am hoping that is introduced to all of the other future cameras coming from Nikon and that is the tally light on this camera. It's amazing that how just a small little red LED light can make so much of a difference when you record and it flashes and let you know when the battery is running out and it obviously recording lets you know when you're recording as well. What a difference just again switched on, nothing to worry about, the camera does its job and you can forget about everything else and just record your content that you're trying to record. It makes life so much easier. So that's number two is the tally light on the Z30. And number three for me, I didn't actually think was going to be on the list to be fair because the Z50 being small, compact, I love that camera, just pick up and go and take it wherever because it was small and light. The Z30 coming in with no EVF is actually smaller, obviously, and lighter than the Z50. And that makes a world of difference as well, especially for vlogging. It just makes life so much easier being so small, kind of indiscreet. So when you're out and about and you're vlogging, people don't really notice that you're kind of doing what you're doing, especially when you've got the flip out screen, they kind of think you're just checking it. So having that small compact camera, it's just amazing, it makes life so much easier. I'm just hoping that we get some really wider primes coming from Nikon in the pancake format. I know we have the 28 mil, but I want something either like a 16 mil or a little bit wider, if possible, for the APS-C camera, which would make a world of a difference with a obviously shallower depth of field of 1.8, which I possibly. And there is other lenses you can use out there, Viltrox do lenses for Nikon now, natively fitting lenses as well, so obviously they'll just go straight onto this camera. But having said that, I'm happy with the 16 to 50 at the moment in time until one comes out because the 16 to 50 is stabilized. That gives you that little extra little bit of VR. So when you're walking around, you don't get that little bit of wobble. So that's number three on the list is the size and weight of this brilliant little camera. And number four is very important to me. And this is why I use Nikon cameras and it's solely for the image quality and now the video quality because Nikon have come on leaps and bounds with their video. And I've got to say, I don't think I'll be hard pressed. I don't think anybody would argue with me to say that Nikon's image quality is second to none. It's probably up there at the top and um, with all other cameras to date skin tones, everything is just absolutely sublime. Straight out of camera, the video is amazing. Same as the image quality as well for stills. So number four on the list has to be image and video quality coming from the Z30 because they have continued from the Z50 and the ZFC. Everything in the, those cameras has been passed down to the Z30. So you get an absolute quality from this little gem of a camera. And number five, which 
again, has changed the way I can record in the studio is the longer recording times on the camera. And being able to plug the battery in, that's kind of five and a six, but being able to plug the battery in, or being able to plug a USB-C in and have a continuous power whilst recording is absolutely fantastic. I think you can get almost up to two hours recording on the Z50, which makes a world of difference. It really, really does. Didn't they kind of understand how much it would have made a difference, but the whole, just workflow now is just so relaxed, so much easier. Set down, set the camera up, hit record, and not have to worry about the thing. I can see myself, I can see the tire light. I know the uh, time limit isn't going to run out, and the battery is going to last as long as I've got the uh, USB-C plugged in. So, so nothing at all to worry about whilst using the Z30. It actually is a cracking little camera. Now I know it is targeted at the entry level, the beginner camera, and it's great. It really is. You can just switch it on and go. But for me, doing YouTube, working with Nikon cameras for as long as I have been, actually photographing and making videos for clients for as long as I have been, this is a quality little camera which is going to produce great quality. Don't get us wrong, it's not at the level of the Z9, all that kind of stuff, but the video quality for a YouTube content, Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of stuff, even creating for clients, which I have done on the Z50, believe it or not, and they've been totally happy with it because most of the time it's going on those platforms. This camera produces stellar, stellar quality, it really does, and nothing, not to be sniffed at at all, so keep that in mind. So there you go, that is my five favorite features of the Nikon Z30. If you have found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I look to see you guys along for the raid. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. See you then.